Hello and welcome back to the UWF, the Utica Wrestling Federation, for our third matchup in our round of 16 for the tournament for the title. Last match we had quite a doozy on our hands. We had Tassara versus James Silverfox in what had to be one of the best matchups I've ever seen in my career as a broadcaster for professional wrestling. However, despite James Silverfox's solid efforts, Tassara was able to get the win and move on to the next round. But tonight, it's a battle between two titans, Michael Norman and Robert the Tasman Piet. Let's take it down to the ring. Tonight's match is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. Out of Florida. This time, the mic drops you, Michael Norman. Michael Norman, our number three seed in the tournament, may not be the flashiest wrestler out here today. He had a lot of big personalities, big egos, like Alpocalypse, Tassara. He got a couple more like Angel of Death. But Michael Norman, just a very good wrestler. A lot of experience, very tough in the ring, defeat a lot of high profile opponents, wrestles in other leagues as well. But he's here tonight hoping to compete for the title. And his opponent, hailing from the Netherlands, it's the Flying Dutchman, Rob the Tasman Piet. Robert Piet, the Dutch wrestler, out here for the competition. A little bit lower ranking on the seating. He's the number 14 seed overall. Uh, not the most experienced wrestler, but you know, uh, a proud countrymen of, of the Netherlands. A lot of fans out there, both here in the arena and abroad, that are rooting for Robert Piat to try and get it done today. And such a likable personality. All the fans like him. Let's see if he can tackle Michael Norman and see if he can actually make it to the next round, be an upset. So far, our top seeds have been our winners. Both wrestlers crept up. Robert Piat is amped. And we're ready to rumble. Approaching slowly. Here comes Rob Piet with a bit of a grapple. Oh, Norman pushing him into the turnstile. Ref's going to try and separate this one. Ooh, and Michael Norman with a cheap shot. Ref's not happy about that. I think Norman uh, wants to get there. Another grappling maneuver. Both these competitors equally matched. Oh, here comes Rob Piet with a wrench. Michael Norman going to reverse it right behind his head. Michael Norman... Experienced brother, it just sends him to the mat. Ooh, and a nice swift elbow to the head. He's gonna get a grapple on Robert Piet and send him into the ropes. Ooh, that's a painful boot to the face. And now he's gonna go for some kicks while he's down. What's Michael Norman gonna do now? Ooh, a swift kick to the back. A lot of legwork from Norman using those kick pads to good use. Maximizing that damage, just drops the elbow with his elbow pad. Oh no, oh a choke slam! Oh, oh, Rob Piet reversed it! He actually managed to reverse a choke slam! Great job for him! A backwards flip right onto him. Rob Piet starting to take control of this matchup. Flips Michael Norman onto his back. Rob Piet, master of a lot of aerial maneuvers. They call him the Flying Dutchman for a reason as Michael Norman reverses it, sends him to the mat. And another swift kick. Norman, as I said, using those kick pads to good effect. Those things aren't soft. They're going to do some damage if you use them right. And look at that. Another maneuver on Robert Piet while he's down. Lifts Piet up in the air. Oh! Not pretty for Robert Piet. One, two. A little too early in the match, but that was a pretty bone-rattling maneuver that Michael Norman was able to do. A punch to the, to the peck by Robert Piet. Now, Rob Piet, what's he going to try here? Oh, and that was a sick flip. Robert Piet, scouting out what he's going to do now. Goes for a hit, goes for another hit. And flips on his opponent onto the ground. Another swift kick to the stomach. 
Robert Piet. Trying to side with the punt. A reversal. Michael Norman sends him over. And Norman, uh, turnstile. I think he was going to almost send him out of the ring. Robert Piet, a swift kick to reverse. Grappling him from behind. Flips him onto his back. Robert Piet back up on his feet. What's he going to go for now? Grabs him by the head. And Michael Norman sweeps him off his feet. Goes for a quick pin. One. Two. And he kicks out. The ref, for some reason, was counting out on his foot. I'm not sure what the ref was doing there. An undercut. I think that was a full... Oh, and a headshot as well. A lot of varied maneuvers by Michael Norman. And that's the experience showing. Norman knows a lot of different techniques. He, he doesn't know as much as Tassera, per se. But he does know how to really switch it up out on the arena. There is uh, Robert Piet getting, ooh, that's some rough shots to the neck with a little bit of a grapple hold. He's down on the ground. Can Michael Norman go for a pin? One, two, Piet kicks out. Not enough damage done yet, but Norman going to give it a shot. Tries to maneuver but misses. Robert Piet's going to grapple the head. And look at that. Oh, a reversal. Norman able to sneak out of that one. That could have been deadly for Norman. Uh, here we go. Right into the ropes. Yeah, on the upper hand here. Ooh, and his arm stuck on that rope. He's going to take advantage and get a swift kick in. Right, Pierre trying to plan his next move. He's got him in the turnstile. He can maybe make something happen here. Uh, he's climbing to the second turnbuckle. Flips him over. Piet going for the pin. One, two, not going to happen. Had a feeling. Norman's been in control most of his match. Not a lot of heavy moves done to him yet. Ooh, that's a quick shot to the spine. And another frog splash. Another backsplash maneuver. As Robert Piet looking to take advantage of his opponent. Ooh, that's rough on the neck of Norman. Just flings him onto the ground. And we have a headlock in place. The Dutch stranglehold. Ooh. He's trying to make him submit. Norman's a tough competitor, though. I don't think he's going to go down so easily. Just wrenching it in. Piet trying to get that submission. Not getting it yet. See if he can hold on to it for a little longer. Man, he's really got that hold dialed in. Norman having a hard time getting out of this one. He will reverse it. And he's going to get the headlock as well. Wrenches his neck. And while he's dazed and confused... Going to go for that head grapple. What's he trying to do here? He's just putting a lot of pressure on his head with his hands. Slams him face first into the rope. Now those ropes may look soft, but uh, you'd be surprised when you're flung face first into them. One. Two. And Piet kicks out yet again. Piet still keeping alive in this competition. He wants to try and get it done. Sends his opponent into the turnstile. Piet... What's he going to do? Flips him around. Oh, no. Ooh, a crushing boot to the head. As now Robert Piet goes for the count. One, two. Norman kicks out. We haven't gotten past. We've been getting around a two count each time. We haven't really seen many one counts in this one, but both competitors hitting with such force. Oh, no. Ooh, right on his spine. Excellent maneuver by Norman. One, two, three. He does it. Michael Norman, what a hefty move he performed on Robert Piet there. He's going to get the pinfall and knock the Dutchman out of this one. We'll take a look at some of the highlights. Robert Piet was able to get some good reversals, some good aerial tricks like that one. Got him off the ground, slammed him to the mat. Piet was definitely a worthy opponent, but uh, Norman, just, just the amount of power he possesses, some of those crushing finishers. You can see he's able to reverse it there. A lot of reversals in this match. We had that lengthy headlock at one point that Robert Piet held, and then Michael Norman reverses it. There's a, a hefty lock that Norman placed on him. Tried going for the pin again, but Piet was feisty. Kept kicking out at the two. And look, there's a, another maneuver there as Robert Piet was able to get Michael Norman into the turnstile. Decided to flip him around. And just look at that contact to the face. I thought Norman could have been down for the count at that point, but he's a tough competitor. was able to kick out. But then here's the last move. A double-handed choke slam. Just sends Piet to the ground, and he's out of it. 
The ref even getting in, hitting him on the arm. So Michael Norman is going to win this round. He wants to space to celebrate. Looks like uh, none of our winners so far have been too keen on the ref being nearby. But Michael Norman is going to win tonight's matchup. He will move on and will have to face another opponent in his sector of the of the tournament bracket. So next time we'll have the Angel of Death fighting our very own Alex Minazuki. So stay tuned for that event. It should be a good one. Thank you for watching this one, and we'll see you next time.